Good morning, this is Kara Coffee of the Ministry of Uncovering No More. And um, this is Blue Bonnet season in the Austin, Texas, greater Austin, Texas area. You can go on the 360 bridge and it's like, oh my gosh, it's an ocean. And we have Lady Bird Johnson to thank for that and all of her work and all of the people surrounding her for two to three generations. That's, that's the influence of that dear woman. And um, if you want a lesson in what a real first lady is like as far as understanding the husband that she's married to, who's the president, and also ably doing her own job as the first lady, it's Lady Bird Johnson. That's who you take as an example. She, there are her published letters and works, and she teaches something for all ages about diplomacy. She is 100% diplomacy. And I've wanted to be like that for years, and, um, the nature of my ministry I am like that to a degree in some places and then when I but when I show up what is what is remembered and what is shown is what is negative and this happened to my entire family it did not happen as much to my partner, Curtis, because in the Christian world, he's the only authority there is. And we both, I've been a Christian longer than him, and so help me God if this person doesn't get off my, the back of my bumper. That's what I mean. This is, this is Austin, Texas, the surrounding areas, and everybody, the, the, the driving is cutthroat. There's a, there's a billion ways, there's a billion ways to not stop and smell the, the, the blue bonnets. And I don't mean take my car and park it on the side of the road and just smell the blue bonnets. I began the video sitting at a red light for one reason. And see, what I do is that person was being ugly, and that's the second person in this whole little bitty trip I'm taking that's being ugly. So I park back. If I'm in a bad mood, they find out how I really drive, no matter where I am. <laughs> I can uh, make somebody nervous in three seconds. It doesn't take me long. It's hilarious. It's not me. I'm having to explain to people you know, you're railing at me about things. They're trying to get me to begin an argument. I don't know why this is in our society now. But it is. And really the reason that I know that it's in the society is because I say no to that. And all I did... Christian world was do what I was told and be a little proper female. That's all you have to do and you get all kinds of kudos. I mean, I am a large family mother. But they do that to everybody. All 12 member family, we've had that kind of treatment in the Christian world. And it conditions you to a place where you don't even know what real life is unless you're in the cult. And we've been fighting that for years, but there's some habits in our family that had to be adopted by us, period, no matter what, uh, to, to survive what was happening all around us. Keep in mind, my mother's family is 100% toxic. I, 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 I am a child who needed to take care of a mother whose family was 100% to toxic. And I couldn't even acknowledge it to myself because... I have a brain too and I need to protect it so I would just pretend it was this way or that way to get me through that 
I remember in December of 2022 when I had COVID. And see, that's a lot of times when you are stopped by sickness or something, you start thinking about some of this stuff and make decisions for yourself. And that's why I encourage people to use runestones, to use tarot cards, because they will speak to you about your own personal journey and, and to, to, to heal yourself. They will heal you. But if you also read the introductions to a lot of those tarot cards and, and, and uh, the rune book like Ralph H. Blooms is who I suggest if you're new to it because he can mentor you even though he's, he's in another life now because he died in 2016 on this side. Um, but you can access and they will tell you, you know, I don't read rune, I don't read reversals with this deck. But you certainly could, and they provide information to help you. Reversals will tell you where you have injury and where you need to improve yourself. I began pretty much everything saying I can't read, I can't read reversals on myself because it's like what my therapist and I came to the conclude to the understanding. He can he acknowledged this, you know. Until everybody stops with the negative narratives about me and only the ne negative narratives about me. That's it. That's all anybody. It's not just about me. It's about everything and everyone. Just pick it apart. Just talk about the negative memories, the, talk, the negative this, the negative that. That's all very cyclical. Getting people to stop it, if you're an exorcist and a sorceress, is a lot of work. So in December of 2022, I just realized, you know, there's a certain pain here in my metaphysical life. I've got to get rid of it. It's gone. Uh, January, February, March. I was like, got to be done here. And all of my runes will, and, and everything on my blogs and everything that I minister will show you how I chose. Because I just, I, I, there's some, there's some situations in my life that people are still trying to catch me in the middle of it. And it's like, no. And yeah, they get mad at me and stuff, but it's like, you know what? Too much was hidden from me. You can't do that. So I made that decision December of 2022, and, it, and, and, and it, you can relieve yourself of pain, physical pain, uh, COVID. I got COVID a second time, okay? Uh, two of the, two of the three Pfizer's that I got, the, the vaccinations, sent me into the same symptoms as COVID without coughing. I'm so glad I did it, though, because I didn't cough this time. The first time was exactly three years before December of 2022. And I bruised ribs. I have scoliosis. So chronic pain is normal for me. It's been normal ever since my fifth child was a baby when the scoliosis was diagnosed. I'd had it all along, but it was mild enough that, so I'm thankful for that. Okay, so let's go back to what I was really saying. You got all my background. I turned as some people were already, see, having a car is a powerful thing to people. Their angst, they bring it out. Well, when there's an accident, that doesn't come forth very often they have things in their lives they need to take care of because just being that way on the road just for the fun of it isn't funny and it's driving up insurance costs and you're being unsafe and you don't need to behave that way and I'm talking to the Californians that are now in Austin who zoom up and down 360 Mopac I-35 all you motorcycle people You've got your, your bucks. You've got your insurance. And I'm looking at a precious person right now walking up to 90 safely. They have their bike, their phone, and their backpack. That's my people. The car I'm sitting in is paid for. We work damn hard to get this car paid for. That's my people, not you fancy ones that can afford your cars that are really nice 
and you like to go zooming up and down freeways. You're not my people. I'm not saying you're not a person. I'm not saying you don't have some nice things about you. I'm saying you're not in this society to nurture the whole society. You're so selfish. I think it's called narcissism and racing unsafely up and down freeways like my family and I have to deal with is sadistic. You are taking a chance not only with your life but with other people's lives. You need a therapist for the rest of your life. You're not handling this society very well and you are contributing to damage. Now, let's go back to Lady Bird Johnson, who is a mentor to so many people, if you will accept her. You don't have to be a girl, believe me. Read her letters. I dare you to slow down and read her letters. They're at the public libraries in Texas. Dwell with that woman a moment and you'll turn nicer than that. She beautified our whole state, the highways and everything. Tons of people work for that. I love it. And I appreciate that. And that's you're looking at about three generations of work. State of Texas. We've got some very good services, great parks. And, and lots of people work in that. And they're like, I'm worshiping them here because beautifying the natural world while we continue to do the work that we do, all of it is a good community, is a strong community. And I turned around and there's in here where I live, the blue bonnets are beautiful. And I turned as I was going, and yeah, again, though, there's attitude on the roads that's just ridiculous. I'm just having to learn to ignore it. Um, I turn, and there's just this beautiful sea of blue bonnets. And I'm going to say it because some people and I are saying this over and over in a bit of mourning what happened in our lives. The blue bonnets are there every season. That person who wanted to pass me on the shoulder and just cut in front of me so that they can just be ahead as we were standing in line waiting at red lights. They'll move on. They don't know me. The blue bonnets remain year after year. That is love, L-U-V. I don't not love the, person, the people that are pulling shit in their cars around me constantly. I don't know what to say about that other than I'm tired of it, of people just being this way. That isn't love in the community. It isn't love in our communities. To be behaving the way I have seen across my entire life. Oh my goodness. If you don't keep up with whatever system is around you. But now it's spread farther. And we know what I'm talking about. Lady Bird Johnson knew this. She knew the responsibilities upon herself were steep indeed. Bernice King is the same way. Kara Coffey is that way in the New Jerusalem. I know the burdens on me are steep indeed. Where it, it crosses over into my private life is, no, I did not stay home this morning. 
we're on spring break in our school and I did not stay home this morning and just putter around the house like I wanted to. I'm actually way more of a reclusive person than anybody ever knew, ever knew. There's so much about me that people just don't know. I should have been born long ago in either direction. I don't fit in my society and that started happening when I was my my parents transferred me to a, a, a private school after right before my brother dropped dead the second time we we got transferred to a private church school in the Covenant Church. And um, that's when my life was over in this whole world because the system controls women and their children 100% in that way, in that place. I have story after story after story of stress in my family's life just even pulling away from it. But we're on the other side and I looked at the blue bonnets regardless of what was going on and I thought it's the blue bonnets that remain. It's the blue bonnets that remain. The roses that I'm looking at right here, the young man or woman that that was that has gone on by determinedly on their bike. We remain. The rest of this doesn't honestly. You're the, you're the cancer on society. Handle your stress and be a part of us is what I beg of you. In every single society, in every single place across the entire Western world where we have a chance, we always have a chance to find something to do to support ourselves and our families. There's other countries that that is not the case, but I am living in a country that it is the case. Love, L-U-V. This is Kara Coffey of the Ministry of Uncovered No More.